so hello guys welcome back to lecture 3 uh, for this I'm going to show you how to do some things in the 3d views and also maybe your site plan so I hope you've watched the first two lectures the first two tutorials yeah so this is where we left the second tutorial second tutorial we did our working drawings our presentation drawing our door and window tag concrete feature and roof so let's go on to do some designs on this building so first of all we haven't give our building a floor so let's go back to our dpc level zoom in so select your floor and sketch the profile and sketch the boundaries click it and press ok i think our dpc is 150 years so let's go back to our three and see how it is as you can see this is our three and our door is beneath the dpc so don't panic guys just select it change the uh, level to dpc see rotate click change the level to dpc also if you want your arc to be taller than this you can simply select it and raise it up select this and raise it up <coughs> or you can do something like this if you wish or maybe something like this here and also this for a kitchen select it drag it or you can use your align tool which is AL as you can see but our doors are not in level with our window our our doors so you can simply align that too by pressing al which is the shortcut for align select the top of the window select the top of the uh, door and click this the top of the window and click this the top of the window and click this also do that to all your windows Sorry, I'm a bit slow today. I don't know why. So I think we are done with aligning this. So let's go on to create our steps for the entrance and the uh, kitchen sit out so go back to your core architecture under your components click model in place this work steps steps or steps commanding meaning so in this case 
instead of sketching a part you can sketch your part via the 2d floor plan or you can just do it uh via the 3d so i'll show you both of them so if we are sketching via the scale via the 2d we are going back to our dpc level and sketch the and sketch the line you can see you see you see, you see it's still doing the same thing so let's do for the 3d tool let me show you select it select it but you see the 3d tool is selecting the whole of the slab so i think for this case it's better we sketch our profile via the 2d so let's go back to our DPC sketch part and sketch something. Click your good, edit the profile, open view, and sketch your your steps your stairs or steps whatever 300 150 300 150 sorry 300 and 150 so you click your good and go to 3d and see how it looks Let's do the same for this kitchen. Create. Go back to your create tab. Sweep and sketch the profile on DPC level. So select, select, select. Sketch, sketch, sketch. Submit your sketch path. <laughs> As you can see, edit profile. you see we are done with our steps and this one we have forgot to align this So we are done with sketching our steps so now let's go on to do our site plan sorry if you want to do some extrusions on your building also don't forget you can do it via the model tab model in place Let's start with uh, let's go with extrusion. So first you select the plane. That's the plane. What they mean my pick plane? The plane on which you wish to sketch the profile. As you can see, it's not selecting. So let's select the building a bit. So you can see it's selecting it so once you click it zoom in and sketch the type of extrusion you want
think that's okay so you can see if this extrusion is too thick you can just simply select it and reduce it to something more small and if you want to change the pro if you want to change the material select it and navigate your material to click on that small icon let's look for gypsum wall board GYP as you can see this our gypsum wall board okay as you can see also don't forget to don't forget to do that for your roof select it and give it the same material as this protrusions protrusions or extrusions yeah. okay. see and if you want to do if you want to sketch a belt around the building let's navigate to architecture under this wall click it and select wall sweep and then go ahead and place it where you want as you can see they are having the same color so select it click edit and give it the same material as your concrete fascia and your extrusion gypsum wall board in case for those of you who are going to use lumion you have to give every extrusion you create its own material so let's take for example as you can see this sweep it's too thick so if you want to create your own sweep navigate to file click on new sorry click on file new family it will show you this family template so simply select english and look for metric profile as you can see this is the metric profile double click it once it has finished opening once it has finished opening go on go on and select this line tool and set the type of profile you want so let's go with something like this and let's look for our act 2 so let's split them split sl that's the sort of code for split trim them and load it onto your project so once it has finished loading go back to your 3d view select the sweep click on edit type you see this profile construction profile default click it and change it to family one what you just finished sketching as you can see see so and if you want to split the wall into two select the wall and also this sweep that you did select it hold your control key as you can see i'm holding my control key to add this sweep add it and come down to these glasses as you can see temporary height plus isolate element so click it and isolate these elements so rotate your wall type in sl your split elements tool and split them where this wall where this wall sweep is stopping so let's see whether i did right you 
Yeah, I'm guessing this is right, right at the edge of the sweep. So on high dates, it resets private, resets elements temporarily. So select the wall. Sorry. Select the wall and give it something nice. Your material. So let's type in stone. Let's give it this. Also do that for this. Isolate. Sorry. Isolate. Rotate your wall. Zoom in, type in your split tool SL and then split them. As you can see, then search temporarily and give it the same the same material as this. Now go on and do it for the rest So once you are through with that, you can go on ahead to do it for any wall you wish to separate. Let me, let me give this place. done with giving the materials we want so let's go on ahead to select a material for the upper part of the building 